Hey, welcome back. It's uh, it's time to do a little walking and photographing or walking and yeah, we'll, let's go with that. Um, going to meet Tello and Mickey and a few others, I think, maybe, not sure, um, in the Echo Park area. Not the lake this time. We're going to a few areas on the outside, one of which is a great road that has palm trees on either side and makes a nice palm tree road shot. And then once you get to the top of the road, you can see downtown LA um, and you can use the, the palms as a frame to get them in the center. But also you can, you, there's a view of a single lonely palm that you can kind of walk around like this, kind of do different views, or different perspectives of this palm lined up with uh, some buildings downtown. So we're gonna go there and there's another downtown view we're going to on the other side of Echo Park Lake. Um, it's kind of like a bike path with a fence, but it makes a nice, I don't know, I think it'd be great to shoot some film stuff there, but like film photography, but also it's just an interesting area. It has a nice sort of mood to it, I guess. I'll show you when I get there. But anyway, uh, after that, not sure. May, might go eat. The Highland Park Brewing Company has been thrown around again, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll be back here and the little one will be happy. Right, Anju? Yeah. Don't worry, we won't be gone long. Yeah, it's that time. Bye bye, love you. Love you, bye bye. See you soon. I've been on the vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Okay, we're here. Location number one, La Vida Staircase. It looks cool. It's like a, a hidden, you can see the stair here and the palm trees. Looks great. And then there's the, the rest of the staircase going down to this view of downtown LA. And the single lonely palm right next to US Bank Tower. I like it, I like the setting. I think I'm gonna take a few photos here. I already did some with a telephoto, but then I think I'm gonna do some of this and get try and get like sort of a, use maybe one of my film presets or something to kind of make it look more like a film. Cause it's, I don't know, it just gives me that feeling. Uh, and then maybe a few from down further down here. And then I'm gonna go back to the palms, like in the middle of the palms there and use like two of them to frame uh, a wider angle shot of downtown and then we'll be on to location number two which is the, the park is kind of over here so we're going to go to the other side and there's like a bike path that's up on a hill where you can see this and the lake so that should be pretty cool too it will be um, the second spot and then we're going to find some place to eat but right now we're looking for mickey we're waiting for him we got tello over here Jessica and Flacco are here. Say hi, Flacco. <laughs> He's all cozy in his bag. Okay, finished up here, heading to spot number two. You can see the backdrop here, what I just photographed. And now we're gonna get a similar view, only a little more clear, um, a little bit higher. And I think we can see the lake from there too, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. This, this, right? All right, so here we are, spot number two. This is Glendale Boulevard right here, Echo Park Lakes across the street. 
and the mural behind me. This is a mural that was originally painted by a local artist in 1984 for the 1984 Olympics. Yeah. And it was just re retouched up for the, what is it, 2000? 2028 Olympics? Olympics, but it's more of a, of the promo, the, why, why he did that. Okay. Ruben Soto. Is Ruben Soto, local artist, painted 1984 and touched up in 2022 for the Olympics. And this is, uh, so there's a staircase you can see here. Goes all the way up there. Once you get to the top, you're on Clinton Street, and there's a bike path that we might go to next to take photos of that frames downtown. And it just sort of has like a, a look to it, kind of a grunge, kind of a nice look. So we're gonna go see if we can get that here after these uh, mural and park shots. All right, we walked up the stairs good view of the, the fountain here. This is actually a really good view, especially if you want to do... Did I do this right? Okay, I did. Sorry. I might cut that out, but I thought I was filming in slow-mo for a second. But no, this is a great view of the park and the fountain. And then this is just sort of like a hidden spot. I've had some people tell me you really don't want to go here at night, but so far, so good. There's some nice people with the husky that's quite inquisitive, as you can see by the expression on his face. And uh, now we're gonna shoot some of this downtown view. Look at that beautiful gradient on the buildings there. Amazing. Anyway, this is the spot, and this is the homie Mickey. Hi. Jessica. Flaco. Tello. And now we're going to go try Wolfie's hot chicken, which is a vegan. It's a vegan chicken hot chicken place, and I'm excited because. I'm excited to try alternative chicken. I've had one at Umami Burger that was really good and actually tasted like chicken, but up until now I've either had jackfruit or tofu and it's just not the same. So if Wolfie's has actual chicken that's, that, or actual product that tastes like a chicken, I'm, I'll eat it. I don't care. If I can't tell the difference, it's probably better for my cholesterol anyway. Tastes like real chicken? Yeah. Is it spicy? A little bit. I chose mild. Really good. Very pressed. Uh, it was a yam burger, right? It was it, it was a like a regular fried chicken burger, Japanese style, but the buns were almost like a yam slash ube. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's where they get the purple color from. That's where it gets that purple. Mickey, Absolutely delicious. what do you rate it? Um, five stars. Five stars? Out of five? Damn. Out of six or five? <laughs> Flaco, what did you think? You didn't like Impossible Burger because you can tell that it's different, right? Oh, that's great. You prefer real meat to Impossible Meat? Okay. How about you, Jess? Good. Come on. No, leave the bone there. Potty, you can come back for it. Okay, good girl. Go potty. Good girl. All right, now you can get the bone back. Do you want the bone? With the bone, take take the bone.
All right, so I'm back home now, and I just realized that I didn't comment on my food. It was delicious. I really couldn't tell it wasn't real chicken, and I had the Memphis, Memphis hot. I don't know, I don't remember. It's Memphis something, but I had it on the level spicy, and it was perfect. It was, it was spicy, but it had flavor. It was delicious. I had some fries with a mango habanero sauce, also very good. Uh, yeah, I'll be going back there. So, anyway, um, I got some good photos. It's fun hanging out with those guys, so always enjoy that. I enjoyed the good new food, so now I'm back home. I'm going to do the data dump thing and uh, go to sleep. <laughs>